Hey everyone, it's Federico here and today I want to show you a very cool application which I've uh, recently discovered for the iPhone. The app is called ZigSim Pro and is available on the App Store for about $4.99. And it's a great app to use with Macs because it allows us to get lots of data from the phone uh, to the computer. But the coolest thing I find is that it allows uh, us to send a depth map from the LiDAR um, camera of the phone directly to the computer. And also it allows us to receive AR kit data from the phone to the computer. Now, if you don't know what ARKit is, is this framework developed from Apple to allow developers for iOS to develop AR, AR application for iOS. And so this, um, the Zig Sim Pro application allows us to get some of these augmented reality feature um, to Max, which uh, is uh, honestly pretty cool. So let's see what we can actually do with it. Now here on the left of the screen, you can see my phone. And what I'm streaming at the moment is an NDI stream. And what we can stream is uh, two different scene types. So we get world, which is everything captured by the camera. We get human, which is only people captured by the camera, which I find already pretty cool. So since modern iPhones are actually pretty powerful computers, it makes totally sense to take off this uh, computation from the computer and let actually the iPhone do it. And then we can send directly the images that have, have been already processed by the phone to our computer. So in this case, uh, uh, yeah, we can get the human captured by the camera it also works with more people and then we can also get the depth of the of the scene we can choose which camera to use front or rear and then there is a bunch of more stuff for example uh, if i go here and i say human let's say i want to use the front camera um, i want just the human and i want to have it hd okay and then i click on start and uh, i can also click here on this camera icon and i can see directly the camera being captured by the phone as you can see, is now only capturing me as a person. This black thing you see in front of me is the microphone. So that's absolutely cool. And as you can see, we are getting here the depth of my person being captured by the, the phone. So it doesn't only work with the leader camera, but also with the front camera, it seems. So pretty cool. And then what we can also do is to get just the world and get the depth type. So if I will go here and set it to depth. Now, as you can see here, it's giving us the depth matrix. It's working basically like a Kinect capturing the depth scene. Let me actually switch to the, to the rear camera to see if it gets a bit more precise. And so this is now using the, the rear camera with the leader uh, cam for the, of the iPhone, which also kind of works like the Kinect camera. So it uh, captures the depth of the scene. And as you can see, it's giving us, it's not a super detailed depth map. It's not super, it's not super precise because it also, it only is in the chart range. So it's zero to 255, the precision. So it's not super precise. But if we just want to get like a rough depth map of our scene, uh, basically to filter out, for example, uh, human figures or, or everything that is at a certain distance between us and the phone, this uh, works great. And the computer is not making any effort. As you can see, I'm receiving all these images through the NDI receive, which uh, I've talked about it in the last video. I will put the link in the description. And uh, cool, we have basically like a little Kinect directly from our phone. This gives us the depth matrix. It's awesome. And now I want to show you some more cool features because this was the NDI part of the app. So what I want to do now is to go here. You cannot send the NDI and the AR kit stuff at the same time. So if you want to send the AR kit uh, a data, you cannot actually send the camera. But check this out. If I say I want to have face recognition, then it will recognize my face. It works super. It works really well. And we can receive through OSC. We can receive uh, all the relative data to my face, uh, to to my face movement. For example, like uh, eye blink. Uh, um, that is something about the mouth and so on. Let's see if we can get like some face eye blink left. Okay, so I think it actually uh, misplaces right for left. So if I blink my right eye, it will actually uh, this value will rise and so on. And if I blink the other one, we raise this value. Okay, 
So pretty cool. And then it works also with the mouth. Can see if the mouth is open or closed. Anyway, I'm receiving these uh, OSC data and visualizing them through the Odot package, which you can find in the package manager. It's really cool to work with the OSC. And then let's see what else we can get here. So if we now go into body tracking, and by the way, this only works with the rear camera, I think. Exactly, it will actually recognize a body moving. So I will now try to get it working on this video with a body recognition. And as you can see, it works really kind of well. The only problem is that it crashes after a while, which really sucks. With the body tracking, it crashes after a while. So yeah, this is a... Uh, this is really bad. I already actually uh, notified the, the company to tell them about this bug. I don't know if they're going to do anything about it because this app is actually from 2020, so it's not like it's going to be continuously updated. So yeah, body tracking should work, but sadly it crashes. Uh, one cool thing, uh, also, if I go just in device and uh, you can see these yellow dots, these are actually the feature points are called in Apple parlance. And these points are used to recognize how the world around the phone is. I'm not super sure what they are for, but yeah, they kind of get uh, recognized by the camera and we can also visualize those in Max. I made a little JavaScript script to visualize those. Uh, I'm, I think they could be used for some sort of AR simulation on Max. So I'm going to explore more of that in the future and get back to you guys because this is still something that I have to figure out. Cool. And then we got a bunch of stuff. Like we got acceleration, gravity, gyro, quaternion, pressure, GPS, which uh, say, uh, tells us where we, uh, gives us the coordinates. And I tried it and it really works. And uh, mic level, remote control, battery. So there is a bunch of stuff. The coolest thing I find is to have the face tracking, the body tracking, if it would work, the device position as well, we can track with that. So... Uh, in this case, we are receiving here the R-Kit position, which is basically my phone position in the space and its rotation. So that's also pretty cool. And then the coolest thing I find also to have the, the depth map and uh, the human silhouette. I really find that to be such a cool feature. And this app should work with uh, all iPhones, uh, starting from uh, iPhone 10, iPhone X, you want to call it. So every phone that is actually has a true depth camera should actually work with this application. But I think uh, this is only relevant for the NDI and the R kit stuff. All the rest should work with actually every sort of iPhone. For all the gyroscope data and the stuff that doesn't require the depth camera should be no problem. Anyway, cool. Let me know what you think about this. And if you find this uh, useful, I don't work for this company. I've never heard about it since a couple of days ago, but I really found this app cool and I thought it was worth to share it with you. Uh, probably you can find some value in it. Uh, it's also great for prototyping stuff, prototyping things until you've got your hands on a Kinect or, or, um, or an Intel RealSense, some sorts of stuff. You can start to prototype using the depth matrix from, the, from this app, uh, simply using your phone, which I find pretty cool. Um, anyway, thanks a lot for following. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, just let me know in the comment section. Uh, if you like the video, subscribe to the channel and like the video. That will be massively appreciated. Check out my Patreon to get access to uh, loads of Max patches and join the Discord channel to get in contact with me. And anyway, I will see you in the next video. Thanks a lot. Have fun. Ciao.